What is up? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Back with some more The Expanse. And guys, I got a little rant video for today. Because I just finished up episode 3. And to say I'm very pissed off and disappointed is be an understatement. Because I'm going to say this right now. You know how you have that negative block in your brain that you try to block out something because you didn't like it. But only when you come reacquainted with it somehow, some way, it brings back, resurfaces memories like, oh god, this is why I avoided this thing. Well, I said I had an itch to play Telltale games because I didn't play one in a while. But after episode 3, I basically remembered why I hadn't played Telltale games in a while is because of this. And... I understand that every decision is supposed to matter, but some decisions are more important than others. And because of a decision that I didn't do that is seems so mystical compared to everything I did do, this determined the fate of a character. And it just it makes absolutely no sense. So I'm gonna have to replay all the episodes again. Now granted they are short and I thought that was a bad thing at first, but now that I gotta replay them again, and I guess I am glad they are short, but I have to replay all these things again. This changes one minor, minuscule thing that basically changes the fate of a character. Because in episode 3, unfortunately, poor Maya ultimately met her fate. And I learned that, hey, you know, based on this, that, hey, she could have um, survived and stayed on the Artemis. So I was thinking, well, what didn't I do? What did I? Was it trusting Raylan? Or should I have fought him? Like, what could I have done? And I realized there was none of those things. It does have to do with Raylan. But, like, it's not in terms of what I was thinking. Basically, you have to do three things. You have to do them all to basically get Raylan to, you know, stand up for against his brother to help you. And if you don't do all three things, well, you know, poor Maya meets her end. Now, I wouldn't mind if all three of these things were big, important things, but you're going to find out that one of these um, things is not like the others, basically, just as the song goes. And it... It just, it pisses me off because it's like, it doesn't make any logical sense. So we're going to weigh these three things um, um, all together. And you're going to see how one of these things is so dramatically, like, inconsequential to anything that really matters at all. But nonetheless, let's get in Because I was enjoying episode three until we get to the end and just everything goes downhill, but in just a stupid matter. Because as I said, there's a trophy you can get to getting everyone out alive. So you're thinking, well, maybe we're just prolonging the inevitable. No, you get a trophy for getting all the crew members alive. So I'm trying to do that. But unfortunately, there's something that I didn't do, a decision I didn't do. So without further ado, let's, let's jump right into this. And we're going to go to episode two. Um, and the decision here, first one, is that the one brother, the um, asshole brother, is he needed medication because he was losing, even though he's kind of already losing anyway. But I found the medication. Now, by the way, the medication is hard as hell to find. It's very easy to miss in episode two, but I found it and I gave it to him. So that's one thing the brother, um, Rayan, should have been very you know, happy for. That I went out of my way to find this thing and gave it to him. You know, this. Um, Arlen has been kind of an a-hole the whole time. He's definitely other than the former captain, the biggest um, ass on this whole ship. But nonetheless, I gave him the medication, so he should definitely be very indebted to me to maybe you know grow some balls and I guess stand up to his brother. I mean, he is an adult, so it's not like he's some little kid. But nonetheless, I did that. Next thing that I did is that and this is huge. In episode one, basically, there's this vault that has a bunch of supplies and. His leg, Rand's leg, gets stuck in it. And everyone's saying, you know, we can't lose the fault. You know, sacrifice the dummy's leg. Who cares? Even though my brother said get rid of his leg. He's an idiot. I'm the only one that basically said, you know, I'm going to lose the vault, but I'm going to protect his leg. And by the way, there's prosthetics on that ship, our ship. So I could have easily said, you know, hey, you know, oh, well, you know, I guess you get a new leg. But no, I saved his leg. If somebody did this for me, I'd definitely be indebted to them for life. I mean, come on. So that's two things. You know, I saved the guy's leg when everyone else wanted it to be sacrificed, even his own brother. And then I give him medicine to his own brother. I mean, those two things by itself are pretty big, especially the leg. But, as I said, you got to do all three things. And once again, I wouldn't mind if the third thing was that big of a deal, that important. But what you're going to realize is it is not that important. And it, 
Like, when I found out this is the reason why Maya ultimately dies, it, it makes no sense whatsoever. Because when this scene plays out, I just looked at it like, it's just... It's like a matter-of-fact thing. Like, this is not a major big decision. Why does this matter? Like, if you wanted to make something like this, you could have done it a lot more dramatic. But, well, further, let's get into this. Let's get into this. So this is the reason why Maya died. Because in the very early part of Episode 1, the brothers are fighting or bullying or almost bullying Raylan. And I didn't step in to break it up because, you know what? I see two brothers doing what brothers do. They F with each other. You know, they play around. They're horsing around. Looks like he's about to give them a noogie. Wow. Because I didn't do this, didn't break it up, you know, this is why Arlen didn't, or not Arlen, Raylan didn't grow any balls and, you know, help me out. You know, I saved his leg and gave medication to his brother. But this is the reason why Maya ultimately died. Are you kidding me? So I got to replay all of this just because of this insignificant, like, thing that happened. I, I, I mean, come on, man. Like, Raylan, you, you, you got to be softer than Charmin tissue paper. Like, really? <laughs> so Maya died because of I didn't do this. Can Telltale Games, like, get some, like, majority? Like, I would get this if it was an important decision. Like, if he was getting beat up, like, physically beat up, he's bloody, he lost a tooth or something, he's bleeding out, I would understand it then. But this? Come on, man. They're, they're two brothers. Telltale Games, can you make these decisions, like, seem more important than they actually are so I don't think, oh, there's not a big deal? Or at the very least, have a majority rules where it's like, hey... I did two out of the three, so can I at least get something? But damn it, it's frustrating. Like, seriously, I got to go through all of this. As I am enjoying it, I do like it, but I got to go through all of this just to save someone's um, life when I shouldn't have to be doing all this because this, this whole thing shouldn't matter. Fight. That's not a fight. <laughs> no one fought anybody. Like, that's he's going to give him a noogie. But, yep, this, this is the reason why, like, if you're curious and you thought hey you know i saved his leg or i found the medication um maya's still dying what gives yeah you gotta do all three you gotta prevent or break up the quote-unquote fight if you can call it a fight but yep uh, this is why i didn't play the games in a while because it's stupid things like this that just make no sense and then when you go through all this decision making but as i said the lucky thing about this game is that the episodes are really, really short. Because other ones, they have a lot of stuff you got to go through. But that is going to be it. Um, let me know your opinion. Does this kind of thing frustrate you in Telltale Games? Let me know down below. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And hopefully I can see you guys back on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day. And I hope to see you all later. Peace.